Hey guys. Well, I just wanted to film a video really quick about what we've been going through. I haven't done any updates in a while about the twins or anything, but I'm 11 weeks, I think one day right now. So definitely had increased um, morning sickness for sure. Uh, maybe at like nine or 10 weeks. Uh, I didn't really feel that sick beforehand, so I would have never guessed that I had twins. But now I'm definitely feeling it in the mornings, sometimes mid-afternoon, sometimes a little bit after I eat. Like an hour later, I'll be like, oh, I feel sick, or it feels like a motion sickness or something like that. So um, I'm feeling a little somber right now, I guess, because we've been going through a lot. <laughs> so that's why I don't seem super excited at the moment. I just wanted to film just my feelings at the moment um so I think I said before you know we have to move out of this house by or my, by the end of May we're moving and you know I'll be about close to 12 weeks by the time we move out of here and it's the house we wanted to live in for a long time and now we have to move in with my parents until we find another place um it's getting hard right now because my husband hasn't been working literally since we got back from our little mini vacation we had with his best friend and it's frustrating because he works in a union laborers union and it's interesting sometimes how they work you know they're supposed to be like a brotherhood but then they're kind of catty I guess I almost want to say like girls but I know I'm a girl so that's really weird to say um but they just it's so interesting my husband is probably one of the hardest workers you could ever meet he's somebody that just wants to work and he's not worked for almost two months now he's done side jobs and you know we're getting unemployment and, and things like that but it's nothing like sustainable you know we just found out our insurance is going to be um running out by october if he doesn't get in at least 275 hours before then so babies are due in november and of course that's like the worst time and because I'm high risk, I have like a million appointments and obviously don't want to be spending all this money on extra appointments and everything. So I just hope that he could just get back to work. And, you know, it's it's definitely hurting Brennan because he just wants to provide. And I know he's not been himself because he feels bad that he's not working and not able to take care of his family and he just likes to work in the first place and you know he told me last night he said I just feel like I can't enjoy the pregnancy because I'm just not working and we have to move and live with your parents and and uh you know I just I'm not mad at him at all because I know he's trying so hard and he's literally been reaching out to everybody he knows trying to get jobs and figure out if even if labor union isn't the way to go then he could do something else whatever it is maybe God's got another opportunity available and you know I'm trying to be like this strong strong wife and believe it or not I've not really cried till just this evening because it was one of those things where you're just like, all these things are happening at once. And, you know, we didn't find out we're having one baby, but two babies. and Which is like the biggest blessing because we waited for so long to have kids. And, you know, I, I just feel like upset. Like, why should... That's my dog. He really knows I'm upset. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Thank you, honey. She knows. But this is such a blessing for us, and it's like, why should I let the enemy steal our joy? And this is a joyous time. And, you know, I do appreciate that he is a man that wants to work and he wants to provide for our family. You know, there's a lot of men out there that just don't care and they or fine with not working but not my husband it's something that's in him is he likes to work and he wants to provide and he hates it when he sees men that don't do that and so I just felt so much for him last night when he said that he feels like he just can't enjoy it and that's not like him at all he's like the most supportive 
husband. Like, he's such a good husband. I just hate seeing him. I hate seeing him hurt like this because I know he wants to enjoy every part of this. And everything is just hitting at once. And then we found out we dropped our one car off today to get looked at. And we figured we needed some work and I found out it needs a transmission. So that's going to be like, you know, $3,500 or whatever. I mean, we're going to go get it looked at to see if we can get a second estimate or a second opinion and see if there's anything cheaper that we can get. But, you know, I literally, up until this evening, it was just like, well, we're going to be fine, hon. At least we're moving in with my parents and... It's going to be okay if it's supposed to have, at least this is the time it's happening. We have an opportunity to take care of things, you know. But it's just also frustrating because, you know, you want to save those thousands of dollars for when you're on maternity leave because you're having two kids, you know. And I know that, like, I feel like we're really being tested in this time, and especially him. And I really believe that God's trying to do something in him that we don't understand clearly. But it just... It's something that I just wanted to share, these feelings that I have, so I can look back and, and say, you know, look where God came through, and look where it's okay, and we're going to be fine. I mean, we have a place to live. I mean, it's things aren't the worst that they can be. It's just, I want him to enjoy this time. And not to look back and say, like, I didn't enjoy that season. You know, when you're excited and ex expecting like these kids and something that we pray for for so long and this blessing we get two of them you know I just don't want him to look back and say wow I just never got to enjoy it so you know last night I prayed I said I just prayed over him and I just know that a job is coming and maybe something better than he could have expected Maybe it's just just something you never would have expected. And maybe it'll be so much that it could take care of me. And, and maybe I won't have to work as much because it just takes care of us so much. Because obviously with two kids, you can't just drop them off with a nanny really easily. People aren't signing up for that. So, and so all this is coming in the midst of us having to move and, you know, not feeling the best and getting excited for two and then feeling like I hate to move in with my parents I feel terrible that I have to you know we have to get a storage unit put most of our stuff in that and then you know move our whole life into a storage unit and you know not move anywhere else and it's like we did look at this house the other day and we you know put an application in for it and now I just don't know if we'll even move to that house because maybe we need to save all of our money to get our car fixed. And so, and we're in the place where we still owe some money on it. And so it wouldn't, I don't think anyone would like let us trade it in and then get a different car. So anyways, so I know that this isn't for anyone that's like looking for pregnancy stuff. It's not really specifically pregnancy related, but you know, like life definitely has its seasons of things that, that come at you, and whether you're somebody that's pregnant now or trying to get pregnant and deal with emotions, or if you're dealing with diabetes like I am, you know, there's so many things that come at all of us. We all have our own story and, and things that are hardships that we deal with, and, you know, I just thought I wanted to record this moment, and... I don't know I'm going to be like, ew, why I look like this? I mean, I can't believe I'm recording looking like this. But you know what I said? I just need to get it on film and, you know, document this journey. Because I just, you know, whether, like I said, whether you're diabetic or just pregnant or you have twins on the way like us, which still sounds weird to say, you know, I know at the same time you know, the midst of all this and sometimes in the midst of chaos and craziness is even when God shines through the most. So, so it's almost like the more I keep hearing and the more craziness I hear, I'm like, okay, well, it's all coming at this time, you know? And I remember feeling not too long ago that I was like, wow, things are going pretty good for us. They're going pretty good. And 
That was even before I think we found out we were expecting. And so, anyway, I just wanted to document this for a little bit. Um, I'm sure I'll remember something else I wanted to say. Um, but again, finished up my tenth week at the beginning of the eleventh, and some morning sickness. Um, as far as my sugars go, I've not seen a big drop in it. I know a lot of people see like the, they say like, you know, at the beginning your sugars drop and then they start rising. So I don't know if they say it's like 8 to 12 weeks or 8 to 14. I can't remember. But I definitely have not seen the drop. I've definitely <laughs> not. I've had to make sure I increase my insulin needs. So I don't know if that's because I'm having twins, but I've also heard some girls say that's just how it is for them. They don't have that drop. So, or maybe I'll have it for only a week or two. But for now, no. Not had the drop. For the most part, my levels have been, my Dexcom says averaging between like 102 and 107, 110. So it just depends on when you check the readings. Um, definitely having the hardest time, for some reason, in the morning after breakfast, my sugars spike right after breakfast. So I know the doctor made some adjustments there. But I'm still having the hardest time with that. It seems like the rest of the day I can do pretty good and keep things pretty much like at 100 or less. Um... My nighttime's doing pretty well, too, but for some reason that post or that prandial post meal or whatever they call it, um, breakfast is the roughest time for me. So he's definitely increased my um, insulin to carb ratio from 8 to 12 in the morning. So we'll see what he says this week because I'm still having some of that. Um, anyways, thanks for listening to me ramble on about this stuff and cry. I have a red face. I should probably go pack instead of procrastinating. So, I don't know if I'll film one more time before we leave this house or if I'll even have time to do that since I've been procrastinating so much. But, just wanted to get that out here. Um, thanks guys for watching. Hopefully I will post more things. Um, you know, I really want to be a support for those of you that are either type 1 diabetics like me or if you're just having twins. Or if you just want to hear a story about a girl that tried to get pregnant for a while, PCOS, and end up pregnant with identical twins, which is like so rare, 3.5 out of like a thousand pregnancies will have identical twins. No fertility meds used at all. So, anyway. Okay, I've rambled on enough. <laughs> Bye, guys.